Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy <clears throat> happy Wednesday to you all. Uh, we're going to be getting into some upper body today. Again, like I said on Monday, this is a new beginnings, new year. Uh, knock the rust off and get back into uh, our workouts. So for upper body, it's um, we're going to be coming back to a really good warm up and something uh, and then building up to push ups and building up to uh, bent over rows, but we're not going to be doing any full push-ups today or full bent over rows. We're going to be modifying it and showing how you can learn how to get that proper muscle activation before you go into the full-blown exercise. So with that, let's get into our warm-up. We're going to start with some IYTs, and we're going to be doing them both for our back and uh, back of our shoulders, and then we're also going to work our front side. So I'm going to start by working my back. I'm going to do a hip hinge and come over for some prone IYTs. And what it looks like is my back stays flat, same as Monday, I come over like a bent over uh, straight leg deadlift, find a position that's comfortable for me, relax my arms, I'm gonna bring my arms up to the top of my head for an I, and then I'm gonna go to the side for a Y, and then I'm gonna come straight out for a T, okay? So that's all we're doing is making letters. This is nice and easy. I'm just using body weight today. Over the weeks, we might start adding in a little bit of a weight progression, but we're just trying to warm up. So let's go ahead, hinge from our hips, coming down, getting ready. And we're gonna do three cycles of this for two sets. Set, begin, going for I. Back down, Y, back down, T back down just a nice easy pace here's our second round second cycle there's my I going Y back down going T here's our third cycle going I going Y and going T and back down go ahead and stand tall and relax roll the shoulders out a little bit we got one more cycle of this to do, and then we'll go down to our mat and work our front side and the front of our shoulders to open that up as well. So coming over again, thinking just hinging from the hips, good tight core. My back is always flat. I'm never bending from my waist. Always go from the hips. Arms straight out in front, getting ready, set, begin, going I. Back down, Y, back down. T, back down, going I, second cycle, Y, T, third cycle, I, Y, T, and relax, come up, roll those shoulders out, good job, nice work. Now we're going to come down, hop down onto my mat, lean with my back flat. Um, I'm going to do this with my knees bent. Um, if you're comfortable having your legs straight, you can as well. I'm just doing this for a personal preference. Uh, it also keeps me from arching my back. Um, so I think keep my core engaged so I'm flat against the mat. Um, so again, I'm going to have my arms here. I'm going to go I. This is just a demonstration real quick. Y and T, getting my box out of the way. Okay, and that's what we're gonna go through. Again, we're thinking two sets of three cycles. Let's go ahead and get ready, set, begin, going I. Just a nice, smooth, steady motion. Don't rush through these. Y and T. Second cycle, I, Y. Third cycle, I, Y, and T. And go ahead and relax your arms. I just usually just set my arms on my chest. You can kind of protract and retract the shoulders a little bit. Coming back up, here's our second round, starting with our first cycle. And Begin, going I, nice and smooth. Let those shoulders open up, going Y, going T.
coming back around. Second cycle. I. Y. And T. Last cycle, number three. I. Y. And T. Coming up, arms down, relax, coming all the way up. I'm just going to come to my knees. Good job, nice work. If you need to, grab a little bit of water. What we're going to go into is a high plank, and we're going to work on a um, little hand movement. Okay, and this gets the shoulders and the triceps activated. Again, we're thinking about trying to get into push ups and bent over rows and doing those really, really well and making sure we feel that the right muscles are activating while we're doing it. And this is a good one to start with. Now um, now that I'm going into a high plank, remember, you can use a chair. Um, I have the chair here, but the box is the same height. When I slide that out, that's just so you can still see me moving. Um, but you don't have to stay in a high plank the whole time. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is a push-up position. This is a high plank, okay? You can always drop down to your knees to adjust any of these, uh, to adjust the intensity. If this is too much for the movements that we do today, then we just take it up to an elevated surface, okay? And I'll demonstrate that as we go on through this workout. But what we're gonna start with is I go to my high plank and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna walk up, up, back, back, side, side, back, back, okay? So from here, you're just thinking up, up, back, back, side, side, back, back. And that's one cycle, okay? And we're looking to do two sets of five cycles, okay? And then we'll go from there. So coming up to my high plank, and notice I don't have my feet together. I do have them shoulder width apart. That helps to distribute the weight a little bit better. Set and begin. Up, up, back back out out back back that's one up up back back out back back that's two up up back back out back back there's three up up back back out out back back there's four up up back back out out back back and there's five Go ahead and come down, relax. Good job, nice work. We got one more set of those to go. One more exercise in our warm up, and then we'll get into our lifts. You'll find with an exercise like this, you know, we're not going down very far, but you will have to bend your elbows a little bit. That's gonna help to get your tricep working, right? And the movement, here is going to work the shoulders and those are two points when you're doing push-ups all of us have a tough time with that and this is some of these exercises will help alleviate that get our shoulders and triceps a little bit stronger makes our push-ups a little bit easier to complete so let's go ahead and get ready second set now for the second set i'm going to start with my right hand instead of my left hand first okay we worked that left side first now i'm going to start with my right we're ready and begin up, up, back, back, out, out, back, back. There's one up, up, back, back, out, out, back, back. There's two up, up, out. There's three up, out. There's four up, out and five coming down relax good job nice work got that little high plank work going so that worked triceps and shoulders to help us with push-ups now we need to think about our back okay what helps us with uh, bent over rows and for now we're gonna do what's called an upper body halo and you're gonna put your arms in front Strand that cord out. And I think I got my thumbs touching here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my arms up by squeezing my shoulders. And what I'm trying to do is touch my thumbs behind my back. Now, as I get to this point, what I want to do is squeeze 
all those muscles. And what you're gonna find is you're gonna hyperextend, okay? And then you're gonna come up and relax, all right? The hyperextension, you wanna do this movement really slow and controlled because you want that hyperextension to come from the tensing of the muscles. Not that you're laying here and throwing yourself into a hyperextension. You want it to be a squeeze. You feel all those muscles in the, in the back activate and that's what's bringing you up, okay? So for this, again, we're gonna do two sets of five repetitions. Let's go ahead and come out. Getting ready, set, begin. So thumbs touch, coming out, palms up, thumbs behind the back. There's one, coming forward. Push that out a little bit. Back, palms up. Try to touch your thumbs, squeeze the back. And that's two. Again, coming around, palms up, squeeze the back. There's three, and relax, coming forward. Going for four. Palms up, squeeze the back. Lats and traps, right? Last rep, here we go. Palms up, squeeze, back out, and relax and take a little bit of a break. It's a different way to get that pulling motion uh, that you would get in either a pull up or a bent over row. But since we have a lot of contact with the floor, uh, protects our core, protects our back, um, so we don't pull or injure anything. A uh, couple of deep breaths. Let's go for our second set. Again, I think thumbs touching. And begin rotating around, squeezing the back. Palms up. Back out. There's one. Coming around for two. Palms up. Squeeze the back. Back to the beginning. Here we go. Number three. Let's do this. Coming around. Palms up. Squeeze the back, back around, going for four. Coming around, palms up, squeeze, and relax. Coming in, last rep, here we go. Coming around, palms up, squeeze, back out, and relax. Good job, coming up. Nice work. There it is, that's our warm up. Good way to get the shoulders and the arms back and chest activated, okay? Now, we'll get into the workout part. And what we're gonna start with is, you know, um, protraction and retraction. And all it is, is I'm gonna do this from my knees to start with, okay? I'm not even in a high plank right now. Because I wanna get this idea, is my shoulders are in a neutral position right now. So if I retract, Notice I'm not really bending my arms, but I'm squeezing my shoulders together. Okay, shoulder blades together. And I'm gonna protract and push away from the floor. Okay, down, up. Okay, protract, retract, protract, retract. Okay, and that's all we're gonna work from. Now for this, we're gonna do three sets of five repetitions. Okay, just getting the idea. If you want to take the intensity up, go to a high plank. But for me, I'm just gonna still trying to focus on the muscles I want to activate while I go through this. I'm not just dropping, you know, I'm controlling, opening the shoulders, the front of my shoulders up, squeezing my back to get uh, my shoulder blades together. And then I'm pushing, stretching it all out. Okay, so just be mindful of that, control yourself. So first, five, first set of five, ready, and begin. Retract, protract, there's one. Retract, nice and slow and steady, protract. There's two, retract, protract. There's three, retract, protract. There's four, retract, and protract. And that's five, go ahead and relax, coming on out, good job. One set down, two to go. We forget like when we do full push-ups. So if I go into a full push-up 
is the idea that I can use my back. When I do that retraction before I bend my elbows, my back is helping to support my body. And then I push up, okay? So just think about that. Uh, push up is a full upper body exercise. You are supposed to be working the back side and the front side. And that's where protraction and retraction gets it, gets it into the game. All right, let's go ahead and get ready. Second set, and begin, retract, protract for one, retract, protract for two, retract, protract. There's three, retract, protract for four, retract, protract for five, coming up. Good job, nice work. That's two down, one set to go. Nice and easy, grab a little water. All right, a couple of deep breaths and we'll go into our third set. Coming into my high plank. In this case, I'm still from my knees, getting ready. And begin, retract, protract for one, retract. Protract for two, retract. Protract for three, retract. Protract for four, retract. And protract for five, coming on up. Good job, nice work. That knocks our first exercise out. Only got three exercises to go. Good deep breaths in between. From here, we're gonna take the intensity up just a little bit. And this is where now we can decide, do I wanna do it from a high plank, high front plank from knees, or do I wanna incorporate a box? So for the demonstration, I'm gonna start on the box and then I'll set it back aside. But how this will work is, this is the idea that I could use a chair, um, but just for demonstration, show you how it goes. Here I am, I'm still in a high plank, right? and we're gonna be doing what's called a push pulse. And this is like a push up, but it's a shock absorber. So you're not even gonna go down to 90 degrees. You just go to where your elbows bend a little and then straighten out. Bend, straighten. Now if I do it quick, like a pulse or a shock absorber, now I'm doing push pulses, okay? Now do enough of these and your triceps and shoulders will thank you. Well, at least that's what we hope they'll do. Um, but it's a way that you can really get that idea of activating the shoulders, triceps, and back, again, without having to go down into a full push-up yet. So from here, I'm gonna go to my high plank, and we're gonna be doing 10 reps of these, because these goes pretty quick. Keep the movement really, really small, right? We'll go ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and relax. See, easy peasy. If, if you're not keeping a quick enough pace, you might be going a little too low. It literally is just from a straight arm. Once you feel those elbows break, you can come right back out. Because once the elbows break, go from straight to a little bit bent, those muscles have to activate to keep you up, okay? So try not to make it too big. Let's go ahead and get ready. Second set. And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And back out. Just really little, little movement. After a while, you will feel the back of your arms uh, start to burn a little bit. A couple of deep breaths. Making sure the shoulders feel good. That's the other beauty about a push pulse. You're not putting a lot of intensity on the shoulder. We'll save that for the next exercise. Okay, coming back, high plank, third set, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down and relax. Good job, nice work. <sighs> Halfway point. Only got two exercises left. Now we did 10 reps on that exercise. Now we're gonna cut it back to five again. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do the first part of a push-up, or I should say the downward phase of a push-up, 
And then I'll show you how to go into like a child's pose or back down onto your knees, push back and reset from there. I don't need you pushing up. If you're comfortable doing push-ups, by all means, uh, add those in. But what I'm going to be doing is some slow eccentric work. And that means downward phase. I'm thinking 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Once I get to the lower phase, I'm going to drop to my knees, push back, and I'm going to go into this little child's pose, and then come back up and reset. Okay? So you're just focusing on working on the downward phase, dropping to your knees, coming back to a comfortable position, and then resetting. And again, this is something you can still do from your knees. Or an, or an elevated surface, okay? Meter body's where we're at. So we're thinking five reps, five seconds per rep. Let's go ahead and come up, high plank, getting ready, and begin. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Down to the knees, pushing back, coming up to high plank, getting ready, and begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Back to the knees, pushing back, coming up, going for number three. And begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Back to the knees, pushing back, coming up, number four. And begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Down to the knees, pushing back. Coming up, last rep. Here we go. Begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Coming down, pushing back, walking yourself up. Good job. Nice work. One down, two sets to go. Whew. Beautiful. Really, really good job on those. Um, doing this eccentric work and all that means is working on the stretch phase. You know, we're opening our chest uh, and shoulders up. Uh, and doing that really, really slow is a way that we can build some basic strength without having a lot of equipment, right? We're at home, I don't have a lot of weights. This is a way that we can break a push up up and still work on building some strength. Couple of deep breaths, grab a sip of water. Let's come back to high plank from the knees or elevated surface. Heading for our second set. High plank, getting ready, and begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Pushing back, coming up. Number two, and begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Coming to your knees, pushing back, coming up. Number three, begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Relax, coming back and up. Number four, begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. And relax, pushing back, coming up. Last one, begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. And relax, pushing back, walking up. Good job, nice work. Woo! Two down, one to go. Now with me, I'm going all the way down to the ground. Sometimes if you find you don't have quite the mobility for that, that's where you will use an elevated surface or just stop your movement halfway, go to your knees and push back from there. It's not something that you have to go all the way to the ground for, especially if you don't have the shoulder mobility. We work with that. So a quick demonstration, then we'll do our third set. Let's say I'm on my knees and I come here and I'm like, that's as far as I go. Then you just push back and reset from there. So just be aware of that. It doesn't have to be the mat every time. Okay, meet our bodies where we're at. Let's go ahead and come up. I'm in my high plank, third and final set. And Begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Relax, pushing back, coming up, high plank. Number two, begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Relax, pushing back, coming up for number three. Begin. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. 
One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, one thousand, five, one thousand. Relax, pushing back, coming up. Number four, begin. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Relax, pushing back, coming up. Last rep, begin. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Relax, pushing back, coming up. Three sets down. Good job. Give yourselves a hand. Beautiful work. One exercise left. And this is going to be a plank row. Um, so done a lot of push, working on our push-up work. Now we're going to do a little bit of pulling work. Um, and for this, we're going to be, again, three sets, uh, five reps on each side. And, again, high plank from your knees or from a box. For me, I'm gonna be doing mine from my knees. Again, my knees are close to shoulder width apart. And all I'm thinking here is, okay, I'm in this plank position. Now I wanna do a single arm row. Row, driving my elbows back, squeezing my shoulder blade towards my spine, okay? Now notice when I row, I'm not opening myself up Okay, I'm not trying to twist into this row. I'm still trying to keep my shoulders facing the ground. Row, row. Okay, so that's how we're going to approach that. Now I'm going to go five reps. We're going to alternate reps. So 10 reps overall or five on each side. Okay, for three sets. So coming down, hitting our high plank, getting ready, and begin. So pull, drive the elbow. There's one. Left. Two. Three. Pull. Four. Pull. Five. Pull. Six. Pull. Seven. Pull. Eight. Pull. Nine. Last rep. Ten. And relax. Coming back. Good job. Nice work. <sighs> Couple of deep breaths. Yeah, and this goes back to that idea with our protraction and retraction. When you go to do that pull, it's all retraction. Okay, you're trying to touch your shoulder blade, try and get it to go into the spine, right? Really activate and pull from those back muscles versus just an arm pull. Squeeze, squeeze. So just something to think about, food for thought. Coming down, second set. Getting ready and begin. Pull one, pull two, pull three, pull four, pull five, pull six, pull seven, pull eight, pull nine, pull ten, and coming back and relax. Good job, nice work. Two sets down, we got one set left. Good place to be, get the blood flowing for Wednesday afternoon. Be sure to grab a little water. Ah. One last shot. Let's go ahead and come down. Getting ready, hitting our high plank. And begin pull. One, pull. Two, pull, three, pull, four, pull, five, pull, six, pull, seven, pull, eight, pull, nine, pull, ten, and relax, come up, here we go, good job, nice work, there it is, upper body for Wednesday, Woo! so beautiful job today, again, trying to knock that rust off, get back into where we progress over the next six to eight weeks um, towards our push-ups and more of weight-bearing exercises. So again, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Um, if you want to reach out and you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can hit me up at CoachWaylon at Overlake.org. And we're going to keep going from here, do a little stretch and core on Friday. So with that, you all have a great rest of the night and Thursday. We'll see you then. Take care.